afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Atlanta Braves and the Washington Nationals. Who's going to win this showdown between these two? Find out next. Steven Strasburg gets the starting assignment for the Nats in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Steven Strasburg has been good since he put on a uniform. The pride and joy of San Diego State University. The closest thing we've seen to Nolan Ryan. Mid to upper 90s fastball. Great changeup, great curveball, and great slider. Very, very rarely do you see a guy have a four-pitch mix that's as good as Steven Strasburg's. Stepping up now, Ronald Acuna. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And it's fouled away. The 2-2. Ozzie Albies is on deck. Fastball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man has gone on strikes to start the afternoon. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Into the box now, Ozzie Albies. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's 2-1. Strike two taken, a fastball that clips the inside black. Time to check our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Freddie Ferguson. Hey, d -Row, you better be ready to swing, particularly at that low pitch. Freddie Ferguson, low ball umpire. Yeah, makes it tough on the offense. I, I was a guy who liked the low ball, but that usually means those guys are susceptible to that slider in the dirt. You have to see the ball up, and this guy doesn't give you a chance. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he'll reach second now with one away. Man, that's always tough. He was a strike away from striking out two in a row, but he got a little careless and caught too much of the plate there. It gets ripped for a one-out extra base hit, and he's got some work to do now to get out of this one. Standing in now, Freddie Freeman. Two balls and a strike to Freeman. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. All right. Left side, but well foul. He was absolutely all over that fastball. Have to find a way to keep that fair. Working for the punch out and the offering. Outside in a full count, three and two. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around him and put him on first. But not with the guy in the on-deck circle. He's going to attack this hitter. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. It's never a good look to strike out looking, but it's way worse when you do it with a guy in scoring position. Those are the times you really want to see a guy battle and at least put the ball in play. In now, Marcelo Zuna. Three and two now. Travis Darno would be next. Albies at second with two down. Fouled off. Ready with the payoff pitch.
Again, he sends it out of play. Struck him out, so he was forced to make nine pitches that at bat, but he'll take it as the inning is over. Brave strand one, and now the Nationals get their first opportunity. No score. Mike Soroka gets the starting assignment for the Braves. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be exciting. This is one of the top young pitchers in the game right now. He keeps getting better. He keeps learning. And if he continues at this pace, this guy has a chance to be one of the more reliable pitchers in the game. Here now is Trey Turner. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. One and one. Here it comes. Line towards center field. Inciarte is there and he has it for the first out. Batting second, the right field. Adam Eaton. And now for Washington, Adam Eaton, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now the one and one pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. Real ugly 0 1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout, knowing you have this guy way off balance. Just hung in there on that one. One out, nobody on. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Inciarte is there now, and he has it. Two gone. So bases are empty here with two gone. And digging into bat next, the ever dangerous Juan Soto. Two out, nobody on. Swung on, and this ball is hammered. Forget about it. And gone up into the second deck. Solo shot to right center as the Nationals strike first. It's one to nothing. That's how the manager drew it up right there. Hold the visiting team scoreless and then grab a huge home run in the first. Stepping in now, Eric Thames. In front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. The one two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Well, you don't need us to tell you. It's really starting to come down out there. I can't imagine the umpires will let this go too much longer if it doesn't ease up. Yeah, Matt, right now, this doesn't look too good. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see the umpires come out and bring the ground crew out here. The infield, around the mound, and around the home plate area is really getting... A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Nats on the board first, courtesy of the solo home run. We'll head to the top of the second. It's now 1-0 Washington. Second inning coming up, and Heidi Watney has an update for us on the weather forecast. Well, Matt, the forecast isn't pretty, but it does sound like we're going to get this one in, even if it takes a while. It's coming down at a decent rate as of right now, and it's likely to intensify as the game moves along. The grounds crew is standing by to put that tarp on the field if the umpires call a delay. We'll have to hope that any such halt in the action is short-lived. 
Yeah, Heidi, and the least appreciated people in the ballpark, the grounds crew will have some newfound fans if they can keep the playing surface playable throughout given the conditions. One and two now. One ball. Well, that two rain three. is really coming down right now. It's raining cats and dogs. You got to make sure you don't step in a poodle. That's as hard as I've seen it rain all afternoon. Everyone, it's so much harder to concentrate when it rains. One and two. Here it comes. Nope. Curveball looked at strike three called, and that's the first out of the inning. Well, his stuff looks electric coming out of the gates in this one, guys. That's five batters faced, four strikeouts. That's going to be a tough pace to keep up, but it looks like he has what it takes to work deep in the game. So now to the plate, Ender Inciarte fouled away. Bases are empty, one man out. Got him looking with the fastball as that had some two-seam movement to it. Two gone. Well, he's really rolling on the mound right now. All you have to do is look at the last four hitters for evidence. All four of them have gone down on strikes as you're seeing here. That's not easy to do, so you know he's got to be pretty dialed in out there. to the plate now Johan Camargo and he got another one here he strikes out the side he set down five in a row via the punch out and the inning is over down in order go the Braves they're down one nothing here's Starlin Castro as they'll have five six and seven here to start the home half of the second Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Waiting on deck is Drupal Cabrera. And the count will be full. Now the three and two pitch. Swing and a line drive, but a foul ball. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Ozuna on the run. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Batting fifth, the third baseman of Drupal. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring in the switch hitting former All Star as Drupal Cabrera. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. One out, nobody on. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. Well, this home crowd didn't like this guy in the mound before, but now they really don't like him. He's gotten the faithful all worked up by hitting one of their best hitters early on in this game. And you can bet he's really going to hear it if he comes around to score. So one got in the inning here with the runner at first. And that'll bring in the catcher, Kurt Suzuki. One and two now. Dirt, but swung on and missed. 
classic slider down and away for the strikeout there. Not a whole lot to that say is. about that pitch that hasn't that been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. At the plate now, Victor Robles lofted in the air out toward right center. Acuna is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Nationals leave one. We play two innings. It's one to nothing. The next to bat for Atlanta, Dansby Swanson, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. All even at two and two. Here it is. Here's one that misses inside and the counts run full now. Three and two. You can bet they love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. Now the three and two pitch. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Mike Soroka. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Bases are empty, one man out. Here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. That's on the outside corner. Count two and two. Well located fastball right there. If he can continue to do that, he'll pitch deep into this one. And he fouls this one off. Two two one more time. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Soto will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Stepping in for the Braves, Ronald Acuna. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. And it's fouled away. Here he comes again, 1 2. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Braves are set down 1 2 3. They still trail 1 0. Riding in now for the Nats, Steven Strasburg, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Here's the one and one pitch. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Wow, that's the case right there where a pitcher knows this guy's up there and he's in swing mode. That pitch wasn't even close to the strike zone and he still swung at it. Standing in now, Trey Turner. 
Line drive, base hit into the left center field gap. Legs churning, he's headed for second. And this will find the wall out near the visitor's bullpen. And he'll pull into second with one away. That's what happens when a slider doesn't do what you want it to do. That was just one of those cement mixers, kind of just spinning but doing nothing. Nice job of punishing that pitch and picking up two bags on one swing. Into the box now, Adam Eaton. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. I think for every player, for every former player, that swing right there is the reason we need to extend the netting without question. Want the fans to be safe. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. And with first base open, the last thing he wanted to do was give him something to hit in the heart of the zone. So no harm done. Force out anywhere now. Now at the plate, Juan Soto. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. And that's been the entire offense so far in this one. They've been shut down other than that. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Pulled toward right center field. Inciarte on the run. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. So next will be the four hole for the Nationals. Eric Thames. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Two down runners at first and second. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. A payoff pitch. And another foul ball. Here comes the payoff pitch. Another one sent foul. Out of the stretch, the 3-2 home. Now a slider, but this misses down and in for ball four. And that's two free passes in the third inning alone, so you have to wonder if maybe it's something mechanical or if it's just psychological. Got to get back on track here. So here's Starlin Castro. Given the situation, he's got an opportunity to break this game wide open. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. Now a swing and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. Soroka is there as he makes the catch and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. A couple of walks but no damage. More baseball on the show right after this. All set for the start of the fourth and that'll bring up the exciting Ozzie Albies. Here it comes on one and one. Yeah. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Eaton is under it. And he hauls it down in the corner. So next up will be Freddie Freeman comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. No runs just one hit and no errors so far for Atlanta. Maybe too much break on the slider 2 and 1. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. The 2-1 is swung on and missed for strike number two. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Yeah. 
He pulls this one into right, but this will hang just long enough for him to run it down in shallow right for the second out. Well, we've mentioned the conditions aren't ideal with the rain coming down, and that can make every play a little bit of an adventure. You really have to concentrate, and he did there to haul it down. Here's Marcelo Zuna. He's 0 for 1 thus far. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for Atlanta. Fouled off. The 1 2 is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Down in order go the Braves. They trail this one, one to nothing. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Nationals manager Dave Martinez between innings, specifically about his club's offense to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. All right. Thanks, Heidi. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera, who was plunked with a pitch in his first trip to the plate. Yeah, Maddie, you're not lying. Last time up, squared right in the back. Hopefully it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to 1 and 2 now. Hit back up the middle. Swanson brings it in. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Stepping in, Kurt Suzuki looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. And he goes with the slider here as that misses in tight. It's ball four. He's going to be pretty upset with himself about that 3-2 pitch. All you want to do in that count is make a competitive pitch, but that one wasn't even sniffing the zone, and he let him get away. So a runner on first with one out now, and that'll bring up the outfielder Victor Robles. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. Inciarte moving in. He makes the running play. Two down. So here now is the pitcher, Steven Strasburg. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. One and two to the Nationals pitcher. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. One left for Washington, but they're up one to nothing. And back in our nation's capital, before we get too much further on the field, let's check in with Heidi. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the Braves' offense with their manager, Brian Snicker, during the commercial break. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. No, they have not scored yet, but they have been successful in running up the pitch count, something they feel will eventually pay dividends on the scoreboard as the starter gets tired and they are forced to go to the bullpen. For now, they're sticking to the plan. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And next will be the power-hitting catcher, Travis Darno. Strasburg on one and one. And he 
holds off on the breaking ball, so the count runs full. Great A.B. up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Fouled away. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. That's his second strikeout of the game. I wouldn't be surprised if a coach that, finds him in the dugout and gives him a little talk about shortening up and putting the ball in play. Good things tend to happen when you do that in these kinds of conditions. Stepping in now, Ender Inciarte. Slider can't find the zone here, and he's behind now three and one. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. Here's the 3-1. Fastball over the outside, but in there for a strike. Now the 3-2 and two pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. Soto will drift over to his right a few steps as he takes it for the second out. Now that third base. Two gone now in the Johan Atlanta half of the fifth. Camargo. And up next, the utility man, Johan Camargo. And he fouls this one off. Payoff pitch one more time. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Braves are set down one, two, three. It remains one nothing. But speedy Trey Turner digs in now. He doubled his last time through. And he's got to build off that last A-B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Hit on the ground out to short. Swanson scoops it up. And he is in there. Hey, d -Roll, that's great hustle out of the box right there. The shortstop has to go deep in a hole to make a play, but he was thinking base hit as soon as he made contact. Yeah, perfect placement right there. He's definitely rewarded for it right there. Nice play by the shortstop. There's not much you can do. You can either plant that right foot and try and come unglued with a throw to first base. You can use the Jarek Jeter, try and jump throw, but I didn't think he was going to get him either way. the one and one pitch and they pitch out here but nothing's happening ball two a runner at first with no outs here he's gone, he's gone. Turner's on his horse on his way to second strike called now the throw down he is not close as he's in there with a stolen base And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. He's set. Here's the three and two. A bullet to first base, but the runner is back in time to avoid the double play. One gone for the Nationals in the fifth, and that'll bring up the dynamic bat of Juan Soto. One one. You, got two balls, one strike. you know what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. Three balls and a strike to the Nationals left fielder. This is where you cash your checks right here. 3 1. You're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. Runner at second here with one man out. Aye. 
in there, and it's full three and two. And so now the Braves will get both a left-hander and a right-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Ozuna giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. And at second here with two away. And in steps the lefty power threat, Eric Thames. Ready with the one, two. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. Both teams battling the elements thus far, but we've got a tight game through five. The three of us are back with more following this. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. Now the one and one pitch. Takes a pitch for strike number two. That's the perfect pitch after you've just brushed a guy back. The hitter probably isn't sitting up there thinking you're going to flip something soft up there. And it's fouled away. Here's the one and two delivery. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout and there's one gone. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? What's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. Into the box, Mike Soroka. This one skied out toward right. Eaton is under it. Two gone. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning form. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. The 1-1. One, one. Couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Soto will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Down in order go the Braves. They're down one nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Starlin Castro. Three and one. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. This is on the ground over to first. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. On the recovery throw is in time to get the out at first. What a heads up play. Digging in the switch hitter as Dribble Cabrera. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, Maddie, and it looked like a sinker in his last AB that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last A.B. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. At the plate, Kurt Suzuki. It was a walk in his last trip. 
Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Thank you. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Nationals gone in order, but they hold a 1 0 lead. So up steps Ozzy Alves. He'll start the seventh, and Dan, as a former pitcher yourself, you must be enjoying this. Lots of good pitching and defense today. Well, that's one of the keys. We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing a lot of swings. We're seeing some great plays on defense. This has been a snappy one up to this point. to two and two now hey it's tough when your team is being held scoreless on the scoreboard he was trying to put him on the board with a swing like that one the two two doesn't get the zone count full now tried to backdoor him and lock him up with a curveball right there pretty good pitch but he didn't quite get it to come back all the way to the corner that's tough to do for most guys set and the payoff pitch and he lays off ball four so now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game man that's a tough one to swallow you're hanging on to a slim lead and the last thing you want to do is give up a leadoff walk Seems like those are the ones that always come back to haunt you. So we'll see if that's the case here. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And that brings in Freddie Freeman. Yanked hard but foul to the right. Nobody out, runner on first. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. And the payoff pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with the single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they can get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Now the Atlanta number four hitter Marcelo Zuna as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Possible tying and go ahead runs on base nobody out. Two and two to Marcelo Zuna. The Braves have been looking for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a big time for that. Here now the 2-2. Popped him up. Cabrera over to his right. Makes the play, one away. Great scoring opportunity miss right there. You talk about frustration. Popping it up with two runners in scoring position. He'd like to get that one back. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. The 1-1. One, one. Oh, that's off the plate. Well, he's thrown a lot of pitches in this one, but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys. Only one free pass to this point, but they're still making him work really hard. Hit on the ground to third. 
taken there by Cabrera. Pro gets him for the second out, but meanwhile, the tying run is in to score. I like that he didn't try to do too much there. All he needed was a ground ball to tie this thing up, and that's exactly what he does. That's great situational hitting. So a runner at second, two down now, and that'll bring up Ender Inciarte. The set and the 1-1. One, one. You know, he was really pounding the strike zone early on, but he's kind of gotten away from that here a bit. He might just need a little reminder to attack hitters and trust his stuff. On the ground to the right side, Castro's able to get there. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. A run, a hit, and a man left. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. All tied at one and one. Chris Martin hits the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Chris Martin. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up the outfielder Victor Robles. Down the first baseline, Freeman is up with it, and he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. Howie Kendrick will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Pinch hitting for the National. Number 47, Howie Kendrick. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's 2-1 and one now. Now it looks like the Braves are going to get a lefty up and throwing in their bullpen. The 2-1 pitch. Hit down the line at first. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at 2-2. Two and two. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. That was a big strike out there, guys. The no best matter, pitchers have the ability to strike guys out when they really need to. And that second out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. In now, Trey Turner. Two and one, the count to Trey Turner. Two one pulled high in the air out to left field, and that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Three up, three down for Washington. Score remains tied one to one. Ken Rainey has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number twenty one. Nick Markakis is going to be asked to get Number things going here as a lead off the Nick top of the eighth. Markakis. Here's a swing and a bouncing ball hits a Turner at short. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up any number eight. And there are the final numbers for the Washington starter. Great day's work any way you look at it. Hey, Matty V, you know when you've got really good stuff, you look down at that strikeout total. Double-digit strikeouts in this one. He had swing and miss stuff right from the beginning. At the plate, Dansby Swanson. Three balls and a strike to the Atlanta shortstop. Now the Nats are going to get a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. He's set. Here's the 3-1. Fouled off.
Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. One out, nobody on. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Soto is back to the track as he takes it for route number two. Tyler Flowers will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 25, Tyler Flowers. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. tip here but it's held on to for the out good work behind the plate and the inning is over Braves are set down one two three still tied one apiece Grant Dayton is on the pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth number 75 Grant Dayton Adam Duvall has come into the ball game now as he takes over as the new third baseman. Number 23, Adam Duvall. So striding forward now, Adam Eaton. Lifetime in this matchup. Just a couple of matchups, no hits and two at bats. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Got a piece, it's two and two. Hit back toward the mound. Swanson picks it up, and a good throw gets him one gun. Ready now, Juan Soto. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Down low, two balls and a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Takes that one a little bit low. Three balls and a strike now. Eric Thames waits on deck. And the pitch. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. off ball four now the potential go ahead run is on base here and I'm sure the manager is just fine with that I mean it's better to yeah, battle man. a slugger like that to the end and end up walking yeah, him than serving one up or he can yeah, really yeah. hurt him. now time is called and we'll have a pinch runner at first and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go ahead run so here's the cleanup hitter Eric Thames been a strikeout victim twice in this one Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. From the stretch. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got to count his favorite three and one. The three one. 
And he misses with it, ball four. So the potential go-ahead run moves into scoring position now. Well, it's obvious he wanted absolutely no part of the three or four hole hitters. But he's got to focus here because this guy in the five hole is just as dangerous. Into the box now, Starlin Castro. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. Hit pretty well out to deep left field. Back goes Ozuna, but he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. Throw comes in quickly here, so that'll hold that go-ahead run at third now with still only one away. Boy, D-Roll, that looked like extra bases right off the bat. This thing caroms off the wall. Outfielder does a great job of getting it in quickly and probably does a good job holding him to a single. Yeah, I'm surprised he's not standing on second base there, but you run the replay back. He was busting it out of the box. It's just a nice job by the defense to hold him to a single. Hard hit at third. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. There's one. Relay to Freddy. Double play, and that'll end the inning. Just what the doctor ordered. He gets the double play to get him out of the inning. Mark, Dan, and I are back with more after this. Michael Taylor will stay in the ballgame now and take over in left field. Now playing left field. Number three, Michael A. Cunha. Acuna digs in now. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. A 1 1. Round ball foul down the left side. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. So now to the plate, Ozzy Albies. Now a check swing, but he does manage to hold up in time, ball three. I love the ability to hold up right there, especially with count leverage. I know you want to get aggressive in the strike zone, but he was able to notice that that wasn't his pitch. And he lays off, ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. You know, it takes a lot of discipline to watch a pitch like that go by, but on a 3-1 count, he had the luxury of being a little bit more selective up there. Good take, and a walk is the result. Digging in and looking for more, Freddie Freeman is one away. The runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. The one-and-one one pitch. Two-one. Marcelo Zuna is on deck. The 3 1 pitch. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. Now the three and two pitch. And he misses with it, ball four. So the potential go-ahead run moves into scoring position now. 
the left fielder, number 20. Mark, uh, Charlie Culberson will come on now and pinch seven. run here. Your attention, please. Pinch running at first for the play. And number that'll eight. bring in Marcelo Zuna. Culberson. Runners are at first and second with one away. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Really impressive pitching right there. Sometimes as a pitcher, you can get frustrated when you make a good pitch and you don't get that call from the umpire. But what does he do? He comes back with a good pitch and gets the strike. Wonder Suero has been summoned here and will try to keep this one tied heading to the bottom of the ninth. Late now, Travis Darno. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Two men are on with two men out. Travis Darno with an even two and two count now. I love the fact that this batter continues to be aggressive, but after striking out twice already. Maybe he's got to take a step back, see the ball a little bit deeper, and be willing to work deep into the count. Long run for the center fielder. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Two left for Atlanta. Score remains deadlocked at one. Charlie Culberson will stay in the ball game as he'll take over at first base. Now playing first base, number eight, Darren O'Day enters to do the pitching, and best case scenario for him is to push this one into extra innings. Standing in, Kurt Suzuki, 0 for 2 for him to this point. One one. Hard on the ground toward short. Swanson brings it in. And a low throw to first that bounces as he can't hang on. So that'll go into the books as an E6, and he'll be kicking himself over that one. So coming to the plate, Victor Robles. A winning run is at first base. Possible winning run aboard here. Nobody out. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Ranging back is Inciarte. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Wilmer Defoe will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Number one, Wilmer Defoe. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. At the plate, Trey Turner. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Ready with the one, two. Winning run stands at first with two out here. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside.
hit hard on the ground to second. That's through a base hit, and he's got his third hit of the game. Throw comes in quickly, but the winning run is in scoring position now with two away. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Two and one, here it is. Ball three. three and one here, you have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. The three and one pitch. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. And that's into the corner of foul ball in right. The payoff pitch. He spoils another one and will do it again. He set the 3 2. Hopped up. Duvall over to his left. And no problem with that one as we are headed for extra innings. Nats leave a pair. Score remains tied 1 to 1. Elias takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in extra innings. Settling in now, Ender Inciarte. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. The 1 1. Mind to the right side. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. And if the Nationals want to look ahead to a possible matchup problem to come, here's what's left in the Washington pen. Stepping in now, Adam Duvall fouled away. Job going down and hanging with it that time. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around, according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big, strong guys because once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. Now the one and two pitch. Next up, two and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a three two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four, anyways. Now the three and two pitch. Oh, on the ground to short. Could this be two? Zips it to Castro for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. One hit in the inning, but no one left. So one will win it here as we go to the bottom of inning number 10. All tied at one and one. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Luke Jackson comes on to start the home 10th, and he's just hoping to get this one into the 11th inning. 
Number 77, Luke Jackson. Now playing shortstop and batting nine. Now with the plate, Number Michael Taylor. Adani Echeverria. One and one, here it comes. Strike two, swinging just out in front of the slider. Hit on the ground out to short. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Stepping into the box, Eric Thames. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Now some action in the Braves' bullpen as they'll stand up a right-hander to get loose. Ready to deal. Here's the 2-1. And he fouls this one off. One out, nobody on. Hit sharply toward the right side. But good hands over there at first, and that becomes out number two. The batter number 14. Second baseman, Starlin. Striding in, Starlin Castro. He singled his last time up. And he strikes him out to retire the side, so we'll play at least one more. Nationals gone in order. Still tied one apiece. Eleventh inning set to get underway. And stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Adani Echevarria. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. Ground ball foul down the left side. Now another 2 2. Here's a high pop up. And he'll put this one away for the first down of the inning. Digging in once again, Ronald Acuna. A hat trick already to his credit in this one, so he's looking to avoid the dreaded golden sombrero here. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. Skied into very shallow right. Coming in on it is Eaton. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now better. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzy Albies. He's working on a one for two game so far. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. All even now, two and two. Two out, nobody on. Fastball is outside. It's full now. Three and two. Good battle. Count remains full. Into the windup. The payoff pitch. Shot toward right center. And this is going to get down for what should be extra bases. And there's your potential go-ahead run. And your go-ahead run is in there at second base as he's got himself a two-out double. You never want to beat a pitcher that breaks a guy out of a slump, but this guy was too good. You knew it was a matter of time before he started barreling baseballs. That gives him a multi-hit game, and I'm sure he's feeling good about it. Hunter Strickland will take the ball now as the new pitcher. Number 60, Hunter Strickland. Into the box, Charlie Culberson. 
Fastball close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Now the 2-1. Two, 2-2. One. Two and two. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. He's set. The 2-2. Two, two. Here's a fly ball toward the line in right field. A long run, and he's not going to get there. It falls for extra bases. As he arrives at second without a play, as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. Dan, you'll take RBIs any way you can get them, but when they give your team the lead in the late innings, man, that feels good. Oh, it especially does, especially when you start to score runs late in the game off of quality pitching. When runs are at a premium, that's one that makes you feel really good about yourself. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Marcelo Zuna. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much, 0 for 4, but this is a great opportunity to make amends. Well, when your team really needs you like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. And it looks like they'd rather go after the next guy as the intentional walk signal comes here with two away. Well, they felt it was better to take the bat out of the hands of a guy like that. He's just too dangerous, and they decided they'll take their chances with the next guy in the lineup. Digging in, Travis Darno struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. The set and the 2 2. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Coming in on it is Eaton. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Braves will settle for just the one. One last shot here as we go to the bottom of the 11th now. It's the Braves two and the Nats one. Will Smith takes the mound in a safe situation as he'll try and make sure this one doesn't reach the 12th. As Dribble Cabrera will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. The 1-1 one, one home. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. When your closer comes in and strikes out the first guy he faces, everyone on the team can kind of take a deep breath. Still have two more outs to get, but retiring that leadoff guy is always huge when you're trying to shut a game down. Now the one and one pitch. That's a ball. off ball four so now the potential time run here is aboard late in the game just a nice piece of hitting right there especially in extra innings he didn't try to win the thing by himself or be a hero he just patiently worked the bat until he earned the walk we'll see if his teammates can pick him up now now to the plate Victor Robles he'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first One and two now as that one's fouled off. Working for the punch out and the offering. And it's fouled away.
the one two gets him swinging he struck him out that's a big strike out there with the tying run over at first base now with two outs it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that guy home probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance Ryan Zimmerman will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line number 11 Ryan Zimmerman Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Zimmerman, or just simply Zim, is a 15-year Major League vet, so it's been quite the career for him. Last strike now for the Nats. And he struck him out for out number three, so that'll wrap things up here as they leave the possible tying run stranded at first. Well, they had to put in a couple of extra innings of work, but hey, listen, a win is a win. And any win is good, especially on the road. Pitching and defense game, 2-1 to one, the final score this afternoon. Luke Jackson is credited with the win. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Atlanta Braves. Two runs, one error. They left seven men on base.